May I now invite um, Madame Director General of UNESCO, Madame Irina Bukova, on the stage to deliver her keynote address. Dear Ex Your Excellency, dear Ambassador Sihasak Puangitoko, Ambassador and Permanent Delegate of the Kingdom of Thailand to UNESCO, His Excellency Ambassador Michael Vorbs, Chairperson of the Executive Board of UNESCO, Excellencies, Ambassadors, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends. Last week, at the United Nations General Assembly in New York, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Thailand recalled how His Majesty, King Bumibol Aduladei, laid the groundwork throughout his exemplary life for a people-centered approach to development. The late King put into practice a vision that gives us the keys to achieving the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. And in this spirit, I wish to thank the Permanent Delegation of Thailand to UNESCO and the World Fellowship of Buddhists for organizing this very timely event. Just last month, I was honored and deeply moved to lay a wreath in tribute to His Majesty at the Grand Palace in Bangkok. My visit provided the opportunity to discuss with the Prime Minister, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, the Education Minister and others, His Majesty's far-sighted philosophy of sufficiency economy and its contribution to economic and social change today, not only in Thailand, but globally. His Majesty marked the history of the 20th century, but this vision, and I would say wisdom, will mark the 21st century as well. He advocated a holistic vision of human development to empower the most disadvantaged, to achieve greater social equity by challenging classic growth patterns. This philosophy guidance resonates deeply with the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development adopted by the United Nations in 2015, which sets an ambitious and bold blueprint to advance human dignity and to protect our planet. I commend most sincerely the government of Thailand for launching the Sufficiency Economy Philosophy for SDGs partnership to help craft the new models we need to advance human progress. This is about equity, inclusion, and green growth. UNESCO took this philosophy on board very early on. In 2012, we organized a future lecture here at UNESCO on the sufficiency of economy philosophy, a new ethical paradigm for sustainability, marking His Majesty the King's 84th birthday. His vision of moderation, reasonableness, and risk management resonates with UNESCO's ideals and priorities, and I would say with the entire spirit of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. I believe the commitment of Thailand to the 2030 Agenda today reflects His Majesty's lifelong and ceaseless pursuit of knowledge and well-being for his people. This starts with importance paid by the country to education. 
in the world of his majesty, also called the teacher of the land. Education means guiding and promoting persons to progress in learning, thinking, and performing according to their own ability. The ultimate aid should be for each individual to be able to make the best use of his or her potential, to benefit oneself and others in harmony and without conflict of harassment. End of quotation. These inspiring words are in line with the Sustainable Development Goal number four, to ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all, which UNESCO did so much to shape. Education can not only be about learning to read, write, and count. Education must be about new forms of cultural literacy, providing young, bo young boys and girls the tools to make the most of diversity, to defend the value of equity, and develop behaviors of solidarity and empathy. Education must empower every learner to become a global citizen, participating in the lives of their country and open to the world. This is how education can be transformative in the 21st century. Thailand is leading by example. The Education for All movement was born in the Kingdom of Thailand in John Thiem Conference in 1990. Since then, Thailand has never ceased to champion education, to take forward the new agenda, hosting three regional meetings since 2015. I take this occasion also to renew UNESCO's appreciation to the Kingdom of Thailand for hosting our regional office in Bangkok, an educational hub that is accompanying member states, especially on SDG 4. Today, the government of Thailand is taking forward Thailand 4.0 strategy to build a value-based economy, to build a knowledge-based society. This calls for putting education and skills at the forefront of change, from early childhood care to inclusive education, from empowering girls and women to teacher training, from comprehensive sexuality education to higher education through the country's 9,000 community learning centers. During my last visit in August, I had the privilege to open an international symposium on cracking the code, girls' education in STEM, to encourage more girls and young women to learn science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. This testifies again to Thailand's vision that progress to be meaningful must include every woman and man. This also testifies to the importance of science, technology, and higher education as keys to development in a new global economy driven by innovation, knowledge, and research. This strategic vision, ladies and gentlemen, is inseparable from His Majesty the King's deep commitment to the rule of law, good governance, and democratic practices. Because sustainable development is not only about infrastructure and growth rates, it is about peaceful and inclusive societies with access to justice for all and effective, accountable, and inclusive institutions, which is the spirit of another sustainable development goal, Sustainable Development Goal 16, which embraces the vision of His Majesty, the late King. But it also means safeguarding cultural heritage and diversity as platforms for dialogue 
and reconciliation. Let me mention that Thailand has five sites on UNESCO's World Heritage List, including the historic town of Sukhothai, the historic city of Ayutthaya, and the Dong Payen Khao Yai Forest Complex. The vision of His Majesty the King is shared by Her Royal Highness Princess Maha Chakri Sirinton, whom UNESCO is honored to have as Goodwill Ambassador for the Empowerment of Minority Children through Education and Culture since 2005. With her support and our partnership with the Thai government, UNESCO remains deeply com committed to taking forward the precious legacy of King Bumibo Aludeye to leave no one behind, to allow each person to contribute meaningfully and to live in harmony with nature. Thank you for this event. Thank you for your attention.